This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. As we uh, continue down this journey down memory lane to Backlash 2002, the next night it's SmackDown, and you have a team member named Vincent Kennedy McMahon, and you're taking on Triple H and woo the Nature Boy Ric Flair. That's a freaking lineup right there. What's it like putting that kind of match together? I mean, it's you and Triple H. Vin, man, you and Triple H, you had Ronda Rousey and Stephanie. Now you got Vince and Ric Flair. What's it like put, putting this? some other wrestlers. There you go. What's it like putting this match together with the four of you? Well, with Rick and Triple H, it was relatively easy. Uh, you know, they came up with some spots for Vince to do to make sure Vince was okay. And it, it was pretty easy to put the match together. Um, you know, I, I just added my, my flavor to the match and, uh, we were off and running and it, it, it worked out really well. I thought, well, Kurt, we have a little bit of that match. And, uh, so let's right, take let's a look at it. it. Here we go. And look at the right hand. Oh. Oh. Damn Kurt Angle again from behind. Oh. Talk about it. And now Triple H into the ring. Damn oh. Triple H from behind. Oh, look at him. And a right hand to Kurt Angle. Oh, no. And Ric Flair setting Mr. McMahon up. Center of the ring. First of all, Vince McMahon is freaking shredded. Here. I know. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. He was in his late fifties at this particular time <laughs> and he looked better than anybody else. Any <laughs> other wrestler in the company, he was jacked. He was ripped. This guy is a beast. He works out at two in the morning till four in the morning. He only sleeps from four to six. He works all day until the night. And then he goes to the gym again. Same thing every single day. He never stops working, never stops working out. And he's what, 76 years old. We saw him with his muscle shirt at WrestleMania, but for a, a 70 years older than that, uh, but for a 76 years old, he still looks in good shape. He, he is. It's amazing. He, it's incredible that he's almost 80 years old and he looks as good as he does. It's crazy. It's ridiculous, but he continues to train his ass off. The guy will never quit till the day he dies. And you know what I heard, Kurt? I don't know if you, I'm sure you do or we know this, but I thought share a secret with our audience apparently he's a big fan of chicken snacks and that's a part of his big time diet <laughs> yes so. he is he actually was one of the first ones to try it and he loved it you know what he said to me what's that don't send me anymore <laughs> he said i'm eating too much of them well be like vince mcmahon and ch try those chicken snacks today there you go well hey nice, this is the nice first spot. time that you're sharing a wrestling ring with the nature boy that has to be pretty cool yeah, you know what? I, I met Ric Flair before I started in the business. I met him at his gym in North Carolina, and I asked him, I said, Rick, what company should I sign with? Because both companies were interested, WWE or it was WWF at the time, or WCW. And Rick immediately said, go with Vince McMahon. He'll take care of you. Do not go to WCW, because he knew that they would probably bury me in WCW, and Vince McMahon would take care of me. And ever since, I had an incredible relationship with Rick. We always kept in touch. And I always looked up to him because he had so much success in the business. You know, 16-time world champion. Uh, Rick, Rick, there's no other person like Rick Flair. He's really special. Yeah, he said in an interview afterwards how impressed he is by everyone who's successful in the WWF. And he mentioned you by name. So he obviously thought a lot of you. Uh, just to wrap up that match, Vince pin Flair to get the win, and the brand split is officially underway. How much of a transition for travel plans and loops and things like that need to get taken care of when something like this occurs, uh, Kurt? There wasn't much of a difference. I mean, you know, basically as a unit, one unit, we would do house shows on the weekends, and then we would do Raw on Monday and SmackDown on Tuesday. Now the brand was split. We both did uh, house shows on the weekends, 
And then we the the brand split for Raw would do Raw on Monday, and the SmackDown brand would do Tuesday. So it wasn't bit, that much of an ad- adjustment. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.